going to have a little discussion here about UMP, you know, spec shock versus a bot shock, okay? And why we're waiting for some people to get on uh, for this, we'll talk a little bit about this spring deal first. So basically what we got here is a spring that we built. It's a 250 13 inch spring. We've been running it on the right rear of um, street stocks and B mods. It's been an extremely good spring, okay? It's got its own little dyno sheet because the spring itself is a little weak. So it, it's rated, you know, it's marked as a 250, but it really rates about 230, okay? And it's just the way this spring works that makes it really good. So if you're watching this deal, we call it a Vera spring. So if you're watching this, um, and you have a street stock, like a Southern, like Neesmith street stock or UMP street stock or stock car IMCA uh, or with soda street stock, this deal has been extremely good. Typically, you know, you guys that are on a 200, 225 need a little more rate in that spring. And this spring provides exactly what you're looking for. So, like I said, it comes with its own little dyno sheet and it's, if you put it on a rater, it's going to rate 230. Um, it's just got some unique characteristics to it and it works really well. So you can call us about that. So now the big controversy. This is our 15 series UMP B mod or Pro mod shock okay this is what we sell this is a gas shock not an oil shock um this is what we sell it's a standard this one right here is just a standard 15 series this is what we sell to these guys it retails for 200 dollars um if you get all the options available it, it's 250 260 right in that range so 99 percent of what we sell is this shock at $200 okay this is why I feel like a spec shock is is not there's not the biggest need for it there's a lot of shock guys out there and there's a lot of guys charging way too much for nothing okay that needs to be controlled okay but going to a spec shock and penalizing the racer didn't fix the problem because those spec shocks are still going to be fixed they're still going to be worked on, and guys racing on a modified spec shock is going to have a greater advantage than the average guy. So if you think we're going to go out there and we're all going to be racing on this playing, same playing field, it ain't going to happen. It may, it may the first few weeks out, but over time, just like the crate motor, it's no longer going to be a stock shock, spec shock. It's going to be a modified and yes, we're going to have rules that are going to do this and do that, but it's it's not going to work. Okay, here's why owning that shock's going to cost you money. And it's not a UMP deal. It's not an IMCA deal. It's not a sanctioning body deal. It's everybody thinks if if we do this, we fix our problems. We just we need more education about what it is we're buying, so we buy better. Okay, um, there's some smoke and mirrors out there uh, plenty of it so and you can get caught up in it real easy because you can't get in it and look and see what's in here so you've got to trust the guy that's telling you this is like you know the cat's meow when it ain't so um, basically how it works for us is you call here we go through your car we valve the shock in many cases the customer calls he gets his five four five six shocks he goes out and he starts winning races or if he has problems he calls us back we go through the car nine times out of ten we fix the car not the shock okay once we get the car leveled out we may have to increase the valving to make it better but we can do that and it costs like 35 bucks okay so here's the cost difference between a spec shock and a built shock from us not from anybody else just from us that spec shock is going to cost you $85 to $90. You're going to buy it. You're going to put it on the car and you're going to race it. And it's going to last X amount, X amount of nights. Okay? And when you're done, it has zero value. So that shock costs you $90. Bucks, okay? 
this shock costs you two hundred dollars. You put it on the car, you race it. If you have to have it revalved, you can. It's thirty-five dollars. You get it tuned up a little more to make you know whatever you're doing better or however it needs to be, and then you race it. At the end of the year, you can send it back in. We can freshen it up, and you can go another year, which just brought your cost down. Or let's say you decide to go to you quit and you want to sell it. Well, you can at least sell it for a hundred bucks. So if you spent two hundred dollars on it, raced it for a year, and you sold it, this shot cost you a hundred bucks. Okay, the the spec shot cost you ninety bucks. Okay, so and at the end of the year, you had nothing but a buck and a junk, because the spec shocks are not really designed to you know to run year after year. You know you're going to be you're going to be you know in and out of them over a period of time. What that time period is. Right now, we don't really know what that time period is. Some guys, you know, I mean, some guys are saying five nights. Some guys are saying 15 nights. You'll have to establish that all on your own. That's your program. How many nights can you get out of this shop before you feel like you need to get a new one? That's up to you. Okay. How many nights you get out of this shop? You can get, this is a home body, treated in this area, billet piston, billet gland, billet divider, low drag seals, it's designed to run for a season without service. It, it, it puts fuel in the race car. This is why we do this thing. We're trying to build performance. Uh, we're trying to make your program better. We're trying to give you an opportunity to work on your car and find the things that are wrong instead of just getting, you know, pocketed to death. You know, so this shock has been very successful in the pro, mar uh, pro mod market. This shock's been very successful in the street stock market. Um, so it, it's because of what we're doing with it and the cost of that is not extremely high you know in this same conversation we had last year you know we had um, probably eight national champions I can't really remember maybe one that many but they all called here and they all bought shocks either a dealer depending on if they were a dealer or retail you know so guys like this bought this for 200 bucks and they went out and won national champions in like the Nee Smith and the Pro Mods, um, the Weekend Warrior deal. Um, you know, it's two hundred dollars shop program. Um, you know, I can't think about every class, but you know, these guys are not paying you know five six hundred dollars for a shop. So this this rumors that are going around, these people that called last night and say, well, these shops are five hundred dollars. They're not. They're they're two hundred bucks. For the base shock, they're 250 if you get an SRT. They're 260 if you get a base valve. So depending on what level you want to be on, that's what the shock costs. And you get all the tech support you can ever imagine or ever need right along with it. So it, it, it's it's not as expensive as everybody wants to make it out to be. If you're a budget racer and you feel like you can't afford this deal, or you don't want to get tied up in that, um, you know, big, you know, taken advantage of, buy this, buy that, you know, and have to go down the road a hundred times before you finally get on the right shock. Just call us. We'll go through it. Um, I'll work with you throughout the year. Um, as far as tech, you know, I can't finance this deal and that's not what this is about. And this is in no way about bashing anything UMP is doing because this is UMP's attempt to help the racer um, save money. I just don't know if it's the best option available. Um, and what's exactly going to happen, we don't know yet, but this is the first release of it, and this may be what happens. But um, if this is not what you guys want to race on, if this is not how you guys want to race, you know, let UMP know. Uh, email them, text them, call them. Let them know that this is not where you want to be if you are not aware of this type of option uh, available. There's other guys out there that build shocks that do a great job and they're in your area. There's other guys out there that build shocks that do not such a great job and they're in your area. And you need to learn who these people are. Uh, we help a few of them and, and many of them we don't because there's a lot of shock guys. But you need to understand, you know, you need to get a brief education on what's going on here. 
inside the shop so you can go out and make a smart decision about the product you're buying. This will save you money over time. Okay, you don't need to be told what to do as far as it comes to a shop. So, you know, let UMP know how you feel about it. Um, if you guys got questions, you can email us at bsbmfg at yahoo.com. You can call at 620-326-3152. I don't know if anybody's asking questions. Um, not really, she says, but, uh, you know, if anybody needs help, get on our uh, Facebook page, message me, um, text me. We'll help you, you know. It's just, you know, some of it might take a little time because this deal got really blown out of proportion, you know. And from what I seen last night, you know, the UMP guys are more than concerned about this option. So the cost difference between what we feel like is a good shock and a spec shock, it ain't that much. So if you got questions or concerns, let us know. Uh, if there's anything we can do to help you get around the racetrack better, uh, let us know. Don't forget about this spring because this is like, you know, the end of the year racing's coming up. So um, I can guarantee you that probably 9 out of 10 cars out there need more spring in the right rear. Um, so think about it. If you've got any questions, let us know. Give us a call. Um, let, us help us, let us help you to have a better season. So thank you guys. Um, just have a good race career and season, and we'll talk to you the next time.